It's been a good bit of y'all on Twitter that responded to my poll. I made a poll, no, no, not on Twitter. I made a poll on my Instagram asking y'all, like, would y'all want to see my camera equipment, a video showing, like, the equipment that I use to do what I do, whether it's video or photography. And a good bit of y'all said, yeah. It was some of y'all that said no. I was like, damn, like, you didn't even have to respond, bro. Like, you could have just left me alone. <laughs> I got to get through this video quick because I lost my batteries to my camera in my car. So I ain't got no backups when the battery died. And I ain't trying to go outside to go get it. So we gonna roll through this quick and get this in and out. And I'm finna put y'all on. Well, I ain't really, I ain't really finna put y'all on. I'm just finna show y'all what I use and what work for me. Because what I use might not work for you. But the stuff that I make, I make it do what it do. So let's hop straight into it, man. First off, the very first thing that I use is my camera, the Canon M50. If y'all don't know what it is, that's a basic entry-level camera. It's good for video, it's good for photography. Selling price at the max is around 700, but you can get it for as cheap as like 550, 600 in between there, depending on where you buy it from and when you buy it and what deal you get it on. It's a good camera for like entry level, beginner, and that's what I've been using for about two years now. I need to upgrade. Just because you got an entry level camera don't mean you can't do no professional work, professional shit with it. So don't go thinking you need a $5,000 camera, you need a, t a camera that costs 10 bands, all of this and that, man, nah, bro, you need a camera, and you gotta learn how to work that junk. Just don't be thinking like, oh, I gotta pull another camera that you can't shoot, something's professional. I don't see niggas with a $2,000 camera, like, I've seen better, I've seen better stuff come from a $300 camera for real, for real. I'm not gonna hold you, just, you gotta know how to do what you do. The camera come with a stock lens, uh, my camera, well, my camera came with a stock lens of 15 to 45 millimeter. It is a mirrorless camera, so your sensor is gonna be cropped automatically. I think it's what, 0 0.25, point, 1.25, I don't remember, but your sensor is gonna be cropped, so it's not gonna be full frame. Can we get a focus on this, please? Please, can we get a, can we get a focus? I'm trying to get a focus. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, that, that's stock lens right there. Um, I don't like to use it, but whenever I do use this lens, I'm always using it for like, whether it be landscaping, whether it be real estate, uh, group photos, this is my wide angle lens that I hardly ever use because I hardly ever do wide angle shots. But, you know what I'm saying, you gotta keep them when you need to because sometimes I be needing to use it. It's not a bad lens, I just, I'm not a person that typically does wide angle stuff. I like to, you know, have um, a depth of field. I like to have that blur in the background. This camera, this lens right here, it's not gonna give you too much of that blur in the background. So I don't really, did I say camera lens? I don't even remember. I, Anyways, look, I use it, but that's that's what I use it for. I use it for wedding shoots when I'm doing the group photos. I use it for, you know, any any group photo or real estate um, stuff like that. Anything that's got to take a large, that has to take a large amount of space in the frame, that's what I'm using this for. My next lens, this is probably my favorite lens for a while, is my macro lens. This is a 55 yeah, 55 to 2 millimeter lens. No, no, I said 2 millimeter, but what? A 55 to 250 millimeter lens. Um, this is this is my lens that I get. This is what I use when I'm getting long distance shots. Um, I use these for my basketball highlights when I'm making some takes for the bros. Whatever sports event that I might go to, mainly basketball, but whatever whatever event, even if it's just a long distance shot, I'm using this right here. You know what I'm saying? I'm not discouraged by the price range. This was around like 140, 150. The, the expensive versions are around like a rack. One band, I'm not gonna pay for that yet, <laughs> right now, and I'm gonna do the same thing with this. Um, my lights, man, my light, my light, my light, my light right here. This is my light, this is not a, what they call it? This is not a speed light, this is just a regular light, bro. Right? This is my light that I use for video. I don't too much use it for photography. Like, I don't really need to, but I use this for video. Um, yeah, there's a, that's bright as hell. That's bright as hell. There's a volume thing on the back, not a volume thing, but a thing on the back that turns up and down the uh, the brightness of it. So I turn it down. And then this comes off, it comes with different colors like orange, blue, green. So you get that that different color. Matter of fact, I'll show you Give me a second. Hold on, I'll show you So pretty much something like this. Boom. You know what I'm saying? I don't ever really use it, but whenever I need to, it's there for me. So yeah, I use this light. It's bright as heck whenever I'm shooting my video in a dark area so I don't get that. So I don't get that grainy stuff in the film too much, but I do like using grain in my films just because that's just my style. I like using some grain. But yeah, so this is my light. I'm not gonna keep turning on. I'm blind to y'all. I ain't trying to blind y'all for real, for real. Nobody watching my video. But yeah, I got it off Amazon for like 50, 30 to 50 dollars, something like that. My battery about to die. Oh, we gotta get through the job. My battery about to die. My next thing, you know what I'm saying? Probably like one of my key purchases is my is my gimbal. This is the Weeble Lab gimbal. Um, this went around for 400 and it's pretty much what you be seeing producers and videographers using music videos, weddings, 
stuff like that for videography, even even for filmmaking. Um, but this is what I use when I'm trying to get a a good shot of something without having any shakiness on the camera. You know what I'm saying? So I don't know why I'm showing y'all this because I ain't got much time to be showing y'all. But yeah, so you know I might hold it like this. I might hold it from the bottom right here. This is my gimbal that I be using. Um, y'all probably seen one of my pictures if y'all follow me on social media. And yeah, and my lens that I'm using right now, the lens I'm using right now, which is get this blur in the background, is my, it's the cheap version of it. it it's, a, it it's a 50 millimeter, it's the cheaper version of it. I'm not paying, I'm not finna pay $800 for the expensive version, cause I just ain't finna do that yet. I went for like 130 to 160. Um, yeah, get good blur in the background. But if you're looking to use this lens for video, do not use this lens for video because anytime it's on um, autofocus, whenever it's changing focus, there's a, a buzz slash vibration in it. So only use this lens for video if you're gonna do like a manual focus with it, which is what I do. But I don't, you know, doing manual focus while shooting the video, depending on what it is, can be hard and too stressful. So if you're looking for photography though, this lens right here that I'm using right now is hella good, real good. Also, I almost forgot my microphone that I'm using is a Rode mic. That's what y'all hear me from right now. That Rode mic went for like $75 to $85, almost $90 max on Amazon, I think. So yeah, all the links gonna be in the description to everything I just said. I don't think I'm forgetting nothing besides, besides what totes everything that I have. Besides like what I carry, to, what I use to carry all this now, which is my bag, smart camera bag. You know what I'm saying? I already dropped a video on this, so I ain't gonna speak too much on it no more. I ain't gonna show y'all all the features and compartments on it. You wanna see it? The card is right up here on one of these sides, man. Go watch that video. I already did a review on it. Hella good bag. I've been using this bag for almost a whole year now. And if you ain't got like a whole lot of stuff, and you got about a, about the amount of stuff that I have, or even a little bit more, this is the bag. This, this the one. This the bag. Because you can't tell it's a camera bag. But it's a camera bag, you know what I'm saying? You don't want nobody to just be able to look at your bag and be like, oh, he got he got camera shit in there. He got he got expensive equipment. Let me rob a nigga real quick. Like, nah, you just want some. I wanted something discreet, like a regular bag, but still functions and works like a camera bag. So that's why I got this. You know what I'm saying? My bag, smart camera bag. I got it off Amazon for like uh, sixty to sixty-five dollars. I don't think I'm forgetting nothing else besides my lights. My lights, matter of fact, I'm not gonna show y'all. I'm not gonna take it out. But I got these lights off Amazon. It's in the bag right now. I'm using a light. This is my lights that I use right now. I don't want to fly taking it out. Um, I'm using my light right here, actually. I might turn it off so I can see. It's a little bit dark enough. But yeah, I'm using my lights right now. Um, link gonna be in the description for them. They're just cheap version. Like 70 to 80 dollar mic. 70 to 80 dollar lights that I think I bought for. I bought them off Amazon. Um, but they good, they do the job, do the trick, come with remote, you know what I'm saying? Woo, woo. We might even just look, turn it down, turn it up, higher. I'm sweating right now. I put this hoodie on because I ain't want to show y'all my hair because I ain't had a haircut in a minute and I ain't know what to wear for the video. So, yeah, um, I don't think I'm missing nothing else. This might be the fast video I don't ever shot. Like, I, I really ran through this joint. I, re I really sped through this mug, bro. I'm finna get up out of here. If the video shut off right now as I'm talking, that mean the battery died. The camera died, and I'm not finna go back and get another battery to do the outro properly. If it go out while if it go off while I'm talking, so be. It. I'll holler y'all next one. But I think that pretty much wraps everything. I'm trying to make sure I ain't forgetting that. Oh yeah, yeah. One of the most important things. Okay, so one of the most important things that I almost forgot for what I use for my lenses is this filter right here. This lens filter right here. Now you might be thinking like, what is that? It looks small. How is that so important? But whenever I'm shooting in like, whenever I'm shooting in the scene or a situation where there's like a lot of light. I use this right here to kind of like dumb it down, dim it down some. So you see the monitors behind me right now. You can see what's kind of being played on them. You know, even though there's a blur in the background. Now when I show y'all this, when I put this on there, I'm gonna try to darker, lighter, darker, lighter. So this brings down those harsh lights to use in those like very, very bad lighting situations to where you can keep that aperture low or up, whatever, I forgot. You can keep that, I'm trying to rush through. You can keep that aperture the way you want it to while I have a, while while not having to adjust that much because of the bad lighting. So yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm rushing right now. I think I got, got everything. And um, yeah, I hope y'all have a good one. I don't even say that. Anyways, look, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna get up out of here. I'm gonna holler at y'all, man. Much love, tune in. Um, like and subscribe.